guys. How are you today? All right. So one of the things that I discovered and got some of, uh, talked with the owner of while I was at Creativation in Phoenix earlier this year, is these uh, relics and artifacts. Now, these are... <clears throat> you can find these at the website is... Um, I think that Sandra Evertson, Evertson is the owner and I believe you can go to relicsandartifacts.com they are matte resin um, unpainted um, embellishments 3D dimensional craft items um, they are um, part of Canvas Corp brands and um, uh, you can go to sandraevertson.com and um, anyway, they look like these when you get them. These are some of the ones I have that I haven't done anything with yet. I will. Um, so I had one image that I painted black. I painted it black on all sides with just regular art paint or craft paint. You don't need anything special. And then I took some metallic rubs um, like Treasure Gold or um, uh, Viva's metallic rubs. I'll get the jars and I'll show you what I mean. So you can use Inca Gold Metallic Rub by Viva, which this is pretty common and easy to get. Um, Joanne has it. Hobby Lobby has it. Um, I also have these Treasure Gold. Um, these say metal wax, metallic wax finish rubs. These are from London in the United Kingdom. And um, they smell like really strong oil paint or solvent, but they work really well. And I have these in different colors than these, you know. And so I used a combination of them to just, just on my finger, to just rub, rub over the raised parts. And this is what this turned out to be like. So I initially did this to use it on something else and then thought, okay, we just need to do something really cool with this, a mixed media piece. And so we're going to do that now. And I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be back at the end. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how exactly I painted this to sh show you step by step, let me know in the comments below because I do have more of these so I can do it again. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'll be back. Bye.
Okay, there you have it. I like the way it turned out. I love it. An old hanger, an old curtain rod thing from I don't even know what. I just found it in my stash of like salvage parts. The original relics and artifacts little ornament, an old key, a canvas corp uh, flag piece, some canvas corp uh, paper which is this black corrugated cardboard looking paper and some other found bits and pieces I had laying around the room and I love the way it turned out. This is a sample of what you can do with just stuff you have laying around, some interesting little bits and pieces to create a piece of art that's really interesting. So see what you have, look around, go over and shop at Canvas Court Brands or Relics and Artifacts. I'll put the links in the description below if you're interested. They have some really interesting parts. That's it for today. I hope you have a great day. Support my channel if you can. Uh, all the links for my um, ways to support my channel, like shopping in my Etsy shop, if you want to join my Facebook group, if you want to send me happy mail, any of that stuff, look in the description. It's all down there. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have a question, a concern, or you just want to say hey. I do answer them uh, every day, every other day at the outside. That's it for right now. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.